Hi, today we're gonna make a voice assistant using ChatGPT and USB Sorter 2. Let us begin. The idea was born when I saw a Techie Sims video featuring a voice assistant. I thought, okay, that's cool. However, they also use two microcontrollers, which isn't great in terms of optimization. okay. So I decided to take on a challenge of creating a real voice assistant with ChatGPT using only one USB Sorter 2 module. This is where the fun begins. The hardware part is pretty simple. The only components we need is USB 32 microphone and amplifier. The first thing to do before writing code is to think over the architecture. In fact, it was the last thing I thought about. The most convenient way for communication between the USB 32 and APIs is using a client server architecture. This way, we split the desk between the USB 32 and the server. The USB 32 records audio, send it to the server, and wait for the response, which is then broadcasted straight to the speaker. The server in turn receives the recorded audio, processes it with the APIs, and sends an audio response back to the microcontroller. Now let's go straight to the code. I've used the platformer extension in VS Code with the Arduino framework. If you still use the Arduino IDE, just open your eyes. Platformer simply gives you much more debugging info and structure for a project, not to mention the ESP idea that is fucking shot here. The main reason why TechSims use two ESPs were due to audio library incompatibility, so I decided to exclude it, even though it provided various convenient methods working with audio. Instead, we initialize the I2C ports and read data from them and write this data into SPIFs, the file system on USB Sorter 2. Finally, we send it to our server using the HTTP protocol with the POST method. <laughs> now let's get to the server. We are going to implement the server with the use of Node.js platform with the Express framework. We have three APIs in total, speech to text ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo and Text-to-Speech. All of them work with one library, OpenAI, which makes our life easier. Now we copy the code from the official documentation into the corresponding function. There are some things you might need to take into account. The token quantity, in other words, the length of ChatGPT response. If you don't want to spend your money on unnecessarily long responses, set its value to about 30. Moreover, when conversion text-to-speech, specify the file format you want, otherwise you get the mp3 file by default. And it's not free. Yeah, you need to deposit at least $5 plus 20% tax to use all services. The good news is that you won't spend more than you have deposited, unlike Google that will fuck you wallet if you make a mistake. Now let's set up a communication between the USB 32 and the server. It's also not so complicated thanks to Express Library. The ESP sends HTTP request as URLs to a specific endpoint. It looks like this. The server accepts this request if the endpoint and methods are appropriate for the handler. We read data using streams and save the data into a file on our server. Then we just wait till the server finishes its job. When the response file is in our directory, we send data back to the microcontroller using streams again, directly to the speaker. That's it, let's throw it into a test. So, let's begin our test. We have to press a button to wake up the board. Who won the Formula 1 race in 2020? The recording is over, now we'll, we'll wait for a result. Lewis Hamilton won the 2020 Formula 1 World Championship. Yep, that's it. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to remake it to improve it, I will drop the GitHub link in the description. Ciao!